Like many of you, I sit here after the fact feeling disgusting, less than, a little sad, honestly, embarrassed. Um, A euphoric sense of clarity has rushed over me, and I realize the mistakes that I've made. I'm talking, of course, about post-whale clarity here. I got Ray, and maybe exacerbated a little bit by the fact that I'm a streamer, I felt the incessant need to get her earlier than I had to and ended up spending an extra $100 on it, I know. God forbid. Um... It's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm a streamer, so I can uh, just complain about it and get ad revenue to make it back and write it off on my taxes, so I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, but many of you find yourselves in a similar situation where, you know, in week <laughs> in round one of a GAC week, you're, you're rushing to Relic, a galactic legend that you can't use for a week, any- <laughs> a week and a half anyway. Um, so I want to talk about the process. Complain, of course, because that's the best thing that I can do. Uh, and probably the only thing that I do well on this channel, and offer some guidance to those of you who find yourselves in similar situations. Now, obviously, um, CG made, I don't know, like six-ish million dollars um, day one on these packs, uh, which is which is all right. I'm sure they're very happy about that, but it doesn't really move the needle as far as the year is concerned. Maybe it makes their quarter a little bit better. I think, obviously, you could you could make that argument, but I think by and large the majority of the juicy happy fun time comes from um, all of the extra secondary and tertiary spending that's going to happen i'm talking about things like you know they had a zeta pack in here uh, buying relic materials buying all of the stuff the you know stuff omicrons omegas uh, crystals to do refreshes because there was a chase plus people are farming tickets and people are excited all of the extra bonus stuff that goes on top of having a bunch of stuff just dropped into your roster right away is where they're making a large chunk of their money. And I know a lot of us kind of fell victim to that mindset, um, which is which is kind of how the game is obviously built. Uh, the game wants to, uh, to trick you into spending your hard-earned dollars, and I don't think that's the end of the world. I mean, it, you know... I, <laughs> I, I'm not an addict. I can quit at any time. <laughs> um, if I didn't, if I didn't think that this game was worth spending money on for me, I wouldn't do it. Obviously, um, I'm kind of oh whoa. I'm kind of scared. Is this a is this a battle that I'm I'm gonna lose? I I don't know if there's gonna. Well, well I guess we're going in raw. Um, but I know that that's not the case for a lot of other people out there. And since the entire game seemingly just walked into two Galactic Legends and a lot of ships, I would like to urge you guys to keep, even if they were your... Well, maybe not if they were your primary... Oh, God, I don't even know what Ray's abilities do. Um, if you were farming other things, please, for the love of all that is holy, for the love of all that is holy keep them as a passive farm right like this whole time i was uh i'm still farming leia and still farming cal and honestly that's been my active farm if you've noticed any of my patterns for acquiring tickets it's just going through the normal stuff um it's just going through all of the normal stuff on my daily leia farm i don't even know why i'm attacking this guy and not necessarily care I, I honestly don't know what this mission is about but who cares um and the second oh is this this oh Oh, my first ever one, and it did absolutely nothing. Um, the the urge, the oh, fuck, I gotta come up with a name for it because I'm very good at coming up for names. The uh, <laughs> the swago sprint, if you will, when you when you finally have access to a character like a backbone character, like a star killer, like a maul, like a malgus, like a gas, even like a galactic legend. Of course, we always feel the incessant urge to rush in and get them the relics, like the day that we have them, and I don't know why. I mean. Maybe you could make a justification that I'm going into a territory war, and yes, I'll have Ray for an extra territory war, and that's awesome. Honestly, I just thought about that right now, and I hadn't been considering that in the slightest. But I guess if that's something that you care about, there is an argument to make there. Um, but realistically speaking, like if I have this this upcoming GAC round or the, the the next GAC round after that, like it's not really going to be the end of the world for me. I think the bigger deal is obviously. I have a hundred less dollars to my name, <laughs> which is a big thing. But also, a lot of the resources that I spent crystal-wise 
uh, could have got me in the direction of, like, I probably could have Leia right now. It was get Rey a week early, or I could just have Leia. And um, yes, they're both Galactic Legends, and yes, they're both very good, and yes, I'm probably going to use both of them on defense. Um, but Leia being my active farm makes her inherently much more valuable, especially because this stuff is kind of, you know, I, I'm viewing the SOKR Ray bundles that came out as just free, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? It's like they're there, and they should be passive bonuses on top of what you've already been doing to help, you know, supplement your account. And the second that you go in and start, uh, hey there, you know, whoa, bambalam going in and rushing. <laughs> I should have done that before I did all of this because now I don't know if I'm going to be getting any tickets. Okay, I got one. That's that's awesome. Um what's I saying? But yeah, I mean the second that you that you allow like this huge influx to kind of get you to feel like, "Oh, I got to buy all the Zeta packs. I got to buy Omicrons. I got to buy o Omegas." I got to buy all this relic salvage. I got to do all these refreshes on crystals so that I can do ticket grind a little bit earlier so I can get alt a little bit faster. Like all of this stuff exists. And yes, as someone who's failed and has received post whale clarity, I am in a very good position to inform you on how these things work. Um, it's what they want you to do. And don't succumb to the pressure. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you that I have made a mistake. I am down to my last... 26 crystals i can't even i can do one extra <laughs> refresh <laughs> and then i have nothing i have absolutely nothing left i am a i am a weak man i am i am depleted i am ashamed of what i've become and i am here as the prophet's ap gain i was gonna try to make some sort of religious reference using my name but it doesn't exactly rhyme with a lot of things that i can remember from the bible um but yeah, I mean, don't 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 succumb to the pressure of thinking that you have to actively farm whatever you've been farming, plus actively farm all of the stuff that just kind of got dropped into your account. It, it's going to obviously wear you thin and make you know the quality of your farms worse, right? Like I'm gonna have a a worse quality you know resistance Zori squad as well as Ray because you know there's Zeta's deficiency, there's mod deficiency, there's Omicron deficiency, obviously. Um, and at the end of the day, it's you know you're sacrificing months of longer term sustained success for quick fix you know shorter success that while feels nice like the analogy of post whale clarity as i'm sure you guys can all imagine what that is but then at the end you sit there realizing the mistake that you've made and wish that it never happened all right as always i love you and i'll see you later